Why do I need ProCut? Why do I need to have a rotor matching system? Why do I need this? Well, have you ever had a customer walk in and say, hey, my car is doing this, and they're trying to describe to you all of a sudden, you know, through facial ex expressions or hand motions, that, hey, it's doing this right here, coming down through, I put my foot on the brake and it about almost kicks my foot right off the brake pedal. Or I feel this, all of a sudden you're trying to say, huh? Well, pulsation, shimmy, run out, all these things right here create these different descriptions. And as a shop owner, you know, you see it all the time and you're trying to figure out how do I fix it? Well, right here's your answer. They figured out how you can turn the brake rotors right on your vehicle without having to take all the assembly apart. Think about it. All the time you're going to be able to save removing everything as far as that front end assembly is concerned. You'll be able to get to that rotor. You'll be able to do it faster, more efficiently, and in the end, you can make more money. When I walked in and I saw this Pro Cut machine, I mean, it, it, it kind of like it made me scratch my head. It's how can you use this on a vehicle without taking the assembly apart? Now, in my business, it's always about time and efficiency. And when I saw the machine, it's like, okay, somebody did their th homework because this thing not only makes it easier for the, the technician to get in there and work, but it also it saves them valuable time. With my background of being a mechanic, well, I understood the concept. And it really, it interested me because, you know, I've had problems with brakes on my, on my passenger car, my trucks, whatever. It, it's always been an issue with noise, squealing. How do you get rid of that? I mean, I used to work in an auto parts store when I was growing up. I used to turn brake rotors for the auto parts store to make a dollar or two. And I learned then how important it is to try to keep your brakes conditioned right without having to replace them all the time. But with this new concept of ProCut, I was sold. After 17 years of effort, the Daytona 500 belongs to Franklin, Tennessee's Darrell Waltrip. He's done it. I understand about wheel balance and tire balance and how important that is. Everybody knows that you balance the wheel and tire together. Why? So that when it goes down the road, you don't feel it bouncing up and down because it's not perfect. That's the reason why you have wheel weights on your tire. When vehicles are running 200 miles an hour, if it's not balanced properly, the driver can feel it. Same way with the brakes on the car. If it's not balanced properly, he's going to feel that. Whenever I worked on pit road, I was always worried about myself and my pit crew. If those brakes fail on our car, not only are they going to hurt me, they're going to hurt my teammates and my fellow competitors. And that's something I couldn't live with. What we have to do is try to get all that there matched up. Well, to me, this machine, what it's done, it's made doing that, especially for the everyday mechanic, no matter whether you're a technician at a large dealership, or if you've got a small operation and you've only got a couple of people, or if it's pretty much your own hands-on organization, it makes it easier for you. It saves you time. And on top of that, I love the fact that it is matching, literally matching, the hub and the rotor together. Without having taken that assembly off, you can take a brake rotor off, turn it, one stud, put it back on, and you can get a different read. Now, can you imagine that? That's what we're talking about here. One one thousand inch, you turn it, all of a sudden you got four one thousand or six one thousand. That's the kind of run out and kind of problem you're trying to address. And you can fix it with this Pro Cut machine because it matches the hub once again with the rotor perfectly. A new rotor's got to be better than a used rotor. Not necessarily, because sometimes, even in our business in NASCAR, when you get a brand new part off the ship, we assume, think about the word, assume that it's perfect. But what do we do? We check it. It doesn't make any difference whether it's a brake rotor or if it's a crankshaft. We check it to make sure that it's got the desirable amount of run out, that it's, it's what we are looking for in a perfect part. Because it's all about performance. It's all about quality and quality control what ProCut's offering up here, and rather than going out and continually taking rotors, brake rotors off and discarding them, you know, which can't be used again, you know, now we have the ability, I think, to address that. So even if you're gonna replace, if, you're, if your car's got so many miles on it and it's already gone and you've got all you can get out of your regular uh, manufacturer's rotor, and it's time to replace it, then you need to also check and make sure it's matched up properly. If it's not, you're eliminating a very valuable step that will make you a lot happier later on down the road.
every day that I went to the racetrack when I was a crew chief, you know, I was always worried about how fast car, my car would go, but also, secondly, I didn't know how it was going to stop. I mean, those two things that used to drive Darrell Walter or Terry Labonte or Kurt Busch crazy if a car wouldn't run and if it wouldn't stop. So, you know, it's a part of my life as far as making drivers happy, making the car respond the way I need it to. And I'm no different. You know, because I'm a mechanic, it doesn't mean as a driver I want to put up with that kind of stuff either. I think the issue that you run into today in today's society is so many people just know this is an annoyance. They don't know how to fix it or what it's causing it but they know that there's something that's not right with their vehicle. From the time they bought it new, it did one thing, and now that they got a few miles on it, it's doing a totally different thing. And they don't know what to do about it. When it comes to rotor matching, pro cuts, they lead the industry. And people will say, well, Jeff, you know, why this company? Well, one of the things that I've always kind of like you know, prided myself on is, is the safety aspect of it. When I work on pit road, I used to jump out in front of a 3,500 pound race car coming at me at 40, 45 miles an hour. And I had all the confidence in the world that I knew that the guy behind the wheel could handle it, but I also knew that that car was gonna stop. It was gonna stop on a dime. It was gonna hit the marks that we put down on pit road so we could do our pit stops. And I had a lot of confidence in everything that we were able to put together. Now today, when I'm riding down the road, I think about the safety aspect of my brakes working properly because of not only my family or my life, how about the people around you? Your car may be five years old, and if it's never had its hub and, and brake rotor matched, well, just by doing that, you're going to wind up be driving a new vehicle because it's going to ride and stop better and everything. Everything about your vehicle is going to be much, much better. In the process, you're being, whether you know it or not, you're being a conservationist. You're thinking green by just taking advantage of what is already provided to you by the manufacturer. The good thing about ProCut and what's going on with this company today is they have the ability to address these issues with the everyday customer. They have the ability to address it even with a, with a new vehicle. I mean, let's face it, even though something rolls off the assembly line, it doesn't mean it's perfect. We run into that every day in our business as far as you know, racing is concerned. You buy something new, it doesn't mean you can assume that it's perfect. You have to go back and check it. And a lot of times you'll find out, even in our world, and we live in a world of, of close tolerances. I mean, we also understand uh, one one thousandth of a second and our business is huge and what I've learned about ProCut one one thousandth of an inch is also very important so we're living on the edge the minimum edge that you can get by with if you can run one one thousandth of a second faster the racetrack a lot of times not only can you sit on the pole you may be able to win a race one one thousandth of a run out in your business or brakes as far as they're concerned well that means all of a sudden somebody's getting a pretty smooth ride and the brakes are working properly